What is up guys, Alp here, hope this video finds you well. We are doing another FIFA 15 player predictions video for Ultimate Team and this time we are looking at the big man, Cristiano Ronaldo for Real Madrid. Of course guys, as I always say with this, these are my opinions, they are nothing to do with EA, nothing to do with FIFA, this is purely how I see his card panning out at the start of FIFA 15. Obviously going to be bringing my messy ones, Robins, Reberies, uh, Royces, etc. But this time I wanted to bring you the big man. So let's have a look at his current card. So we're looking at his, uh, obviously his 92 rated card in FIFA 14. Obviously basing all of our predictions and increases on the standard card at release of FIFA 14. So 93 pace, 91 dribbling, 90 shot, 79 passing, 86 on the heading and 48 defence. In the left wing position as standard and obviously 92 rated overall second highest player in the game behind the god that is Lionel Messi but in my opinion Ronaldo has always been the better player just because of the way that FIFA plays let's have a look at some stats from the two seasons so the seasons that would affect Ronaldo's first card would have been a 2012-13 season 55 appearances 34 goals in the BBVA 11 assists in the BBVA and 55 goals overall and 14 season assists that was in 2012-13 and they are the stats that I believe would have influenced the uh, the card for FIFA 14 now moving into the FIFA 15 card a season that would affect it, in my opinion, is the 13-14 season. As you can see, he had nine less appearances, slightly less goals, the same assists, even though he had, obviously, less appearances. Um, 50 season goals, not 55, but 19 season assists. So his passing and that was improving throughout the, uh, obviously, the 13-14 season. More season assists in less games proves his passing was improving. His goal-scoring average, if you take the number of games and you break it down, is actually around about the same if not a tiny bit better so in terms of his shooting he's as good if not better you also have to factor in the fact he won the Ballon d'Or in January now I know the Ballon d'Or was for 2013 as a season as a whole but considering Messi had held it for the previous three years the fact that Ronaldo has taken that crown in 2000 well the 2013 Ballon d'Or which included obviously the first three or four months of the 2013 2014 season means that in my opinion it has to be factored in when looking at his card for FIFA 15. So here is the card guys as I see it I have gone for a 94 rating best player in the world deserves one of the best cards in the game I have kept his pace and his dribble as it is at 93 and at 91 I have increased his shooting by one, lowered his defending by one, haven't seen him do that much defending to be perfectly honest with you doesn't seem that interested, would rather be up the other end I've not watched that much BBVA. If I'm wrong, let me know. Now, his passing, I have increased by three because I, even though he played nine less games in the previous season, he's got more assists. So that's why I've increased his passing by three and I've increased his heading by two because he scored some stunning headed goals. So I've increased his heading by two, passing by three, shot by one, kept his dribbling and pace the same and lowered his defending by one, making him a 94 over overall rated card in the left wing position that is my prediction guys obviously these opinions are my own they will differ from yours so try not to hate just give me constructive feedback in the comments below do you agree do you disagree what would your predictions be take care of yourselves guys like sub comment and i will catch you later